Hello and welcome to reading today. We are going to focus on plant books because this week we're talking about plants. And in fact, I've included some fun activities for you for theme to do and today. Um, so this week we'll just start to focus. We'll take a little bit scholastic, did something different um, for these weeks to come. And so we're going to do something different. And normally around this time we would be talking about plants. And so that's what we will be talking about in your theme lessons if you choose to do those. So in reading class, we're going to read some books about plants just to make it all go together. And today I want to read you the book, The Bad Seed. Some of you I know have gotten this book from Scholastic and maybe you've read this. It's such a good one. The Bad Seed. This is written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed. He looks bad, doesn't he? <laughs> a bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, Oh, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes that bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. He left the card out. I never, um, I'm late to everything. Hmm. I tell long jokes and I, they don't have a punchline. That means he tells long jokes, but they don't, they're not funny. There's no funny part to the joke. I never wash my hands or my feet. See how stinky he is? I lie about pointless stuff. He's saying the cat did it. And I cut in line every time. Mm -mm -mm. Should never cut in line, should you? I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentence and I never listen. And do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. So, uh, sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unmarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped. And our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Sunflower seeds. Delicious. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant. He's at a baseball game. the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. Thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. 
I had become a different seed entirely. I became a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose and I lived inside a soda can and I didn't care and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies and I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I really also, but I also say thank you. And I say please and I smile. And I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. And all I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, it's not that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. You know, just because we do bad things sometimes does not mean that we are bad, right? Just because sometimes the seed chooses to do things that are naughty or aren't very nice to other people doesn't mean that he's a bad seed, okay? Because we still also do good things and wonderful things, okay? Today, I want you to write a sentence about the good that you do. So maybe some good things that you do are that you um, are friendly to your neighbors, or you're really good at listening, or maybe you are really good at cheering somebody up when they're sad. Okay. I want you to tell me two things that you do really, really well. Okay. So you might say, I'm really good at listening to others and I'm also good at um, cheering people up. You might say, I'm really good at making pictures for people. I'm also good at... Um, baking cookies for my neighbors. What are some good things that you like to do for other people just because you want to be nice, because you're a good person? Maybe you're really good at remembering to say thank you. Maybe you're really, really good at helping your mom and dad pick up around the house. Or maybe you're really, really good at um, making pictures or cooking or any of that. Um, so think of something that you like to do that's good for other people. Okay. All right, so that's what you're going to do for your sentence today. Yesterday, you sent in to me your ub words. And so we're going to read these ub words together. And then you were supposed to make your match mine chart because we are going to put words on it today. So if you haven't made it, you're going to need to quickly get that to put together um, when you put, and if you do that, you need to pause me um, and not do it while we're supposed to be doing this because we need to do this together. So here's our UB poster and you were to send me in UB words and we're going to read these words together knowing that the end of this is always going to be UB, T, UB, TUB, K, UB, CUB. B, ub, bub, p, ub, pub, 
d, ub, dub, gr, yep, gr, ub, grub, r, ub, rub, snub, snub, cl, ub, club, s, ub, sub, st, ub, stub. Very good. These are great words. Um, thank you for sending those in. You thought of really, really good ones. Get out your match mind chart. You should have a chart that looks like this. One, two, three is going down. A, B, C, D is going across. We're going to write words into our match mind chart. And today they're going to be from our UB poster. Today they're going to be from our UB poster. So the first word I want you to write is club. K. Look at me. K. L. Ab. I would like you to write club in D1. D1, write club. Okay. Next one, we are going to be in a2, A2, so put your finger there, and this is the word we're going to write. We're going to write the word grub, g, r, break that apart, grub, g, r, ub. Write it in A2. We've got one more word to write today. It's going to be an ub word, and we are going to write it in C3, in C3. So in C3, I want you to write the word tub, tub, tub. Okay, so you should have three words written down in your match mind chart. You hold on to that because we're gonna keep adding to it like we did before for the rest of the week. Okay, today we are going to go hunting. Hunting we will go. The first thing we are going to catch is a cloud. Let's catch a cloud. And I want you to think of two words that rhyme with it. All right? Oh, a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a cloud. Put it in a, put it in a, and then we'll let it go. This time, let's catch a seed, like from our book, The Bad Seed. Let's catch a seed, ready? Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a seed, put it in a, Put it in a, and then we'll let it go. One more, I hope you're thinking of good rhyming words here. We're going to catch a flower. Here we go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a flower, put it in a, put it in a, and then we'll let it go. All right, very good. I hope that you can record yourself saying some of those rhyming words that you thought of. If not, that's okay. You are going to write your sentence. You should have already filled in your match mind chart. We did some rhyme time. And that is all you have to do for reading today. Have a good day. See ya.